That would be Elvis Presley. That's right. On August the 16th, 1977, I was taken, actually on the 17th, I was taken 300 miles away from my family. So in literally less than a year, I witnessed my father die, torn away from my family, no communication, the death of two of my aunts, and then Elvis. So you're probably thinking to yourself, how did this kid not end up in a mental institution? How come he's not on medicine? And how is he not filled with hate? And the truth is, I don't know. I've lived in poverty all my life. I've had H, 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 H. And yeah, I mean with the letter E and L. Okay? I don't know how I stayed sane. I do know that I am filled with love. I am filled with compassion. I am filled with hope. And yes, there is a part of me that still has that anger from what happened to me. How could I not? But I also believe in forgiveness and hope. So the person that you watch do these things and interview these people and bring hope and then try to empower those who would not otherwise be empowered, or I might bring a magician on my show or a musician, or maybe I'll bring someone who had mental health issues and bring them on equal terms with everybody there and show them respect and love and kindness and always try to help people. Yeah, this is the person who did not let barriers, abuse, and poverty stop me from believing in faith, kindness, and compassion. And that's just a little bit of what I've gone through. But if you can even fathom what that had to be like in 76 and 77, now you see, now you see what you're capable of achieving. If I can be going through all this, and to this day, I'm making this May the 11th, the morning of May the 11th, 2012. To this day, I'm still in abject poverty. 